Okay. I see, I see, I see. Uh, yeah, a real life moment of how it's not going well with starting a YouTube video. So we started and uh, hi. <laughs> YouTube videos. Why I started making YouTube videos? Uh, that goes all the way back to the time I think that YouTube was something new, something fresh, where everyone just started posting videos and I was just watching them. And I feel like that was just... It was just so much fun to see what others were doing and I felt like it would be so much fun to also show other people what I was doing, but also kind of to look back at for myself so I kind of started making videos because one I really liked watching other people's videos so I was like maybe I would like to do that myself as well but second thing was for me to look back on things because the first couple of videos that I made were like from my vacations so that wasn't even really doing YouTube it was just me uploading vacation videos but yeah that's kind of why I started doing so vacation it. videos how long have you actually been doing the YouTube videos? How long? I think I got a little bit more serious with my YouTube after my vacation to uh, Thailand and Vietnam, which was around 2016. But I remember already posting videos before that. Um, I think somewhere early 2016 is when I started, yeah. So next to the holiday videos, what type of videos do you also make? Uh, I make fashion videos. <laughs> I make uh, beauty videos, but not really beauty anymore because my beauty routines are so basic that I kind of stepped away from that. And I also like to do lifestyle videos, which is basically just me vlogging my life. Yeah. I can imagine that it can be awkward vlogging outside. Do you actually feel awkward? I feel very awkward when I vlog outside. So it's been around five years now of me doing YouTube videos and I still can't get used to going outside and just holding my camera up. Hi! Oh, this is so awkward. I cannot. It's okay. It's okay, I'm used to it. But I think it might also be because here in the Netherlands it's not really a common thing. So when I was in the US for me it was just very normal because a lot of other people were doing it as well. But over here, people will stare at you, which makes me feel even more self-conscious and awkward. So yeah, even with five years of practice, I'm still not there yet. <laughs> so not there yet, but do you feel pressured to make high quality uh, YouTube videos? I feel like I could do better. I've Even when I started doing my YouTube videos, I was like, I want to do it... I only want to do it if I can do it like perfectly, which I still don't feel like my videos are perfect at all. I still feel like they're very basic and that my skills of editing are very basic. But at one point I just realized that sometimes making them imperfect is even more fun than making like a perfect scheduled video. Like it, it makes it more real, I feel like. Yeah. And... Do you get many hate comments actually on YouTube? I think throughout the years I got a few, but barely, like really barely any because my videos are not that popular, I feel like. So there aren't that many comments. So it's, I get more dislikes than that I get hate comments, basically. <laughs> People are just silently hating. I don't know why, but they are dedicated watchers still, so. And uh, have you done many uh, collaborations on YouTube? I have done a few collaborations. I don't do many because I'm pretty picky with who I work with. I don't want to just like put bullshit marketing on my channel. So I haven't done that many. Um, so which of these brands um, yeah, is actually 
your fave collab so far? My favorite collab so far is probably, well, it's not probably, it's definitely YesStyle, um, which this video is sponsored by YesStyle. Wink, wink. <laughs> um, yeah, it's YesStyle. I started collaborating with YesStyle last year, somewhere early yes, last year. And for me, it's always exciting if a brand reaches out to me and I already know the brand. So for me, YesStyle is a brand that I used to order from when I was like a teenager. And then at one point I stopped ordering because of the shipping fees. And now I'm doing YouTube, they all of a sudden reached out to me. And most of the times when brands reach out to me, it's because of my Instagram and not necessarily because of my YouTube. So I was very excited that they reached out for my YouTube, even though I didn't have that many um, viewers at all. Uh, they still wanted to collaborate and yeah, I've been doing that consistently for over a year now. Yeah, I've been with them for a while now. They are probably my most, uh, well, they are my most favorite ones. So is it also because you already knew the brand that you became a YesStyle influencer or is there a different reason behind it? I think it was definitely because I already knew the brand. So I was already excited knowing what they have to offer. Um, were there any other reasons for me to collaborate with them? I don't think so. They just made it very easy for me to say yes because they didn't have very strict requirements. They like gave me a lot of freedom um, with whatever I wanted to do as long as I just named their brand, basically. So I like the creative freedom a lot. So you also mentioned that they reached out to you. Is that also how you uh, uh, know about their influencer program? Yeah, uh, I didn't know they had an influencer program and also didn't realize how strong that community was until I was one of them. Um, because one of my first YesStyle videos did really, really well and I never knew what kind of impact that had on my YouTube channel and just on my ambassadorship uh, as a Yasta influencer, so. So you also mentioned that uh, that it is really easy for you um, to do the collaboration with Yasta because they give you a lot of freedom. Uh, is that also what you like about their influencer program or what do you like uh, more? What I like about their influencer program is definitely the creative freedom. So uh, you can do whatever you want with the video. I most of times do hauls because they are most informative. Um, yeah, what else? Their influence program, it's really easy to actually sign up for it. You don't even have to be an influencer, which I like as well, because a lot of like high-end brands or not high-end brands, but a lot of like big brands, they want you to be like a very, um, big influencer or at least have like a very good engagement otherwise they don't want to work with you and with, with YesStyle it's literally you can just sign up and you can start sharing your own links and your own codes and you don't even have to have any reach like if you share it and someone clicks on it you will still be part of the whole influencer program so that's just I don't know it's I think it's very unique I'm not sure but I, I feel like it's very unique to them so for uh for the last two years, what is actually your favorite YesStyle influencer campaign? My favorite YesStyle influencer campaign... I think it's probably my... Um, Christmas giveaway, I think. Even though I didn't post that during Christmas because the shipping got delayed. Um, they gave me like a big amount of credits to... Uh, get clothing and show them in the video, but they also gave me the opportunity to give back to my followers with like uh, shopping credits and I kind of like every giveaway that I can do for them because then I can kind of also give back to my viewers. So going back to more general questions, um, is actually being a content creator your full-time job? That's a question that I get quite often. Um, because it kind of seems like it, I'm I'm pretty consistent on my social media, but it's not my full time. Full, wow, it's not my full time job. I am a full time Mendix consultant, so I I have a nine to five job, and uh, in my free time I do social media, and. I
And I've been doing that also next to being a student back in the day. So it's never been a full-time thing for me. Is it easy to combine your nine to five job with YouTube? Right now, I would say yes. Um, I spend my evenings creating content either for Instagram or for YouTube. My weekends, I have a lot of time as well. So I try to do something in the weekends for YouTube as well. But I think it's especially now easy because of the pandemic. I work from home. So when I finish my job, I'm already at home. I can like do everything a lot faster than if I weren't working from home. If you get what I mean? So it saves me a lot of time that I work from home, which gives me a lot of time to create content on YouTube. But also when I was a student, I had a lot of free time. And I think it's more about how motivated are you to actually spend your free time on YouTube after you've done all the work that you had to do during the day. Um, yeah, because a lot of people just want to chill and rest after they've worked or after they've been to school. And I get that. But for me, my motivation is pretty high on my social media. So I don't mind spending my free time doing this as well. Would you ever uh, become a full-time YouTuber? I don't think I would ever become a full-time YouTuber, but then again, never <laughs> say never. Um, but for me right now, that's not something that I would want to pursue. I like it a lot, but I also like my current job a lot and I want to grow within that job. And yeah, I, I definitely feel like YouTube will forever be like a part-time thing for me, but who knows? And have you ever considered stopping with YouTube? Have I ever considered stopping with YouTube? Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't put that much pressure on my YouTube career, even though it's, it's barely a career, but I don't really put pressure on myself with uploading. So if I have faces that I just don't feel like uploading, I just let it be and I never really get the thought like, wow, this is too much. I should just stop with it. I don't, I don't think I ever had that. And I don't think I ever will because for me, YouTube is just a way to like, uh, for me, be creative in something that I really like. And also I love just capturing all the moments so I can look back on it later on. And even if no one's watching it, I would probably still make them just for me to have something to look back on because in general in life i forget so much so if i don't record it i would probably forget it ever happened which is why i like youtube for myself a lot <laughs> and what is one tip that you would like to give to those that want to start making youtube videos as well one tip that i would like to give I think this is one of the most important things that sometimes people like to just look past at, uh, which is only start doing YouTube and dedicating all your time to it if it's something that you actually enjoy. So what I've seen a lot throughout the years is that people at one point um, prioritize making money with YouTube videos instead of actually enjoying doing what you want to do with those YouTube videos which mentally can become very difficult if you do it just to make money instead of doing it because you like it. Because no one likes to do something that they don't like for a long time, right? So make sure that you actually enjoy doing YouTube, enjoy making videos that you like to edit. Otherwise it's just gonna drain you and then you might as well put your time into something else that you do actually like. I think it's just something that people tend to forget that they're like, oh, I want to do YouTube because I see all these other big YouTubers make money with it. And I also want to make money and I don't want to like do something else that just seems like fun. They just do fun activities, this and that. But behind the scenes, there's so much more going on. And if you don't genuinely like what you're doing, then at one point you're going to hit this like this wall and you're just going to be hella sad with whatever you're doing. And I don't know, it's just very common nowadays and just something I would like to warn you guys about, I guess. <laughs> My interviewer is struggling. <laughs> Starting to keep up with you. So actually that was the last question. 
Do you have anything else you want to mention or say to your... Uh, if there's yeah. anything else I want to say to my peoples. Enjoy life, stay safe, stay healthy, and yeah, be you. I gotta wrap it up guys. So also these are new shoes. I've never worn them before outside and I wanted to give them a little moment in this video. So if you're wondering why I'm wearing shoes inside and on my lounge chair, it's because they're clean AF. And yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to another side of my room, pretend like I'm leaving. That's the YouTuber life. Check you guys later.